If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me that you hate my videos, but the best way to do that is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Meek Mill gets pickpocketed for his phone in Ghana. Let's talk hip hop. Peace, y'all. It's your boy Johnny Fastlane here. So this situation is crazy, man, because Meek Mill got robbed for his phone uh, in Africa, right? So you guys know that he's in Africa. He's in the country of Ghana, right? The whole situation, man, is that you guys saw Meek Mill riding up and down the street on his dirt bikes. He had mad people out there. It seemed like there were some dream chases that were out there in Ghana, right? Um, the whole situation is, of course, a lot of people crowded Meek Mill. Uh, they were treating him like he was Michael Jackson, basically. And of course, somebody slipped their hand in his pocket um, and grabbed his phone, right? Um, so Meek Mill must have like more than one phone because then he went on Instagram and he's like, they pickpocketed me for my phone. Um, if you got that joint, please bring it back right i mean it was crazy as hell because the following day man um he ended up getting a text message from somebody that said that they're at the president's house right now um and that they're on the way to bring the phone to meek mill i want to say thank you guys for getting this phone back to my life man you ain't let them hack me or nothing did y'all commander so that right there was the president's daughter um, and the commander, right? So I guess the commander's probably like a sheriff kind of person over there, uh, but they ended up getting uh, getting Meek Mill's phone back for him, right? Of course, you know, Meek Mill's like, y'all ain't hacking or nothing like that, right? So I'm sure that they probably couldn't open the phone, so it's not like, you know, Meek Mill nudes are gonna leak or like unreleased music or anything like that, uh, but I'm sure he has important things on here that he needed uh, to have. I mean, it was his damn phone, right? Um, also, they ended up arresting arresting the person who had his phone man um they said that he was hiding out in his crib basically right um that they arrested him and that he will go through the due process um and that the victim here is meek mill right i'm sure that meek mill probably don't want nothing to happen to this guy uh, but i don't think meek mill has a choice or a say in the matter uh, because since the authorities in ghana arrested him uh, i mean it's just up to them what to do with them right and i don't know what the penalty is for stealing a phone it could be you know probation it could be years in jail for you know for all i know if he did that here in new york it would be little to nothing right um but at least meek mill got his phone back and the whole situation is crazy man people are mobbing him it looked like he ended up getting into a little scuffle when he got off stage but i think people generally are just super excited and even though it's a lot of stuff going on right now there um it's all love i mean people in all the streets of the world love meek mill um and so it's more of the same in ghana and actually meek mill even said that he's thinking about buying a house out there which is pretty dope right but um let me know what y'all think about this in the comments.